All right, I gotta get this off my chest. Deck of games. They're greedy. Oh, I felt great, dude. Oh, it's, it's, oh, I'm good. All right, before I go into detail about why I feel that like Decca Games is a greedy company and in the current state that the game is in, uh, let me explain to you why I call myself a veteran player. You see A-Train, Uber A-Train is a veteran player because he's been playing the game since Wild Shadow's still on the game. All right, veteran, veteran, all right? I am a goddamn veteran player, all right? The same way your dad's probably a veteran in the military, I am a veteran player to roam the mad god, all right? That's a damn fact. Just because my account may not be the oldest, and it's definitely not the oldest, and I also haven't been playing since like the first patch or since the most recent patch. I one of my friends has been playing even longer than I have, and before I have, he just plays it less now because this dude is like insanely rich and he's actually good at the game, unlike me. But that doesn't doesn't change the fact, doesn't change my opinion at all. Wild Shadow Studios owned the game. The community was doing great. Everyone that played the game at the time enjoyed it, but the game wasn't at its peak. The game has definitely grown since then. Uh, Ambulance of Resurrection were a thing and pets existed toward the end but they were purely cosmetic and they weren't they didn't affect the game far too much kabam saw the game as an opportunity and decided to buy it because they thought it was interesting and they thought it was profitable at the time when kabam took over wild shadows realm the mad god a lot of players were confused people were scared people were excited because a big company was taking over this little game that so many enjoyed and loved and well it didn't end well you see kabam was also greedy kabam was greedy they wanted money they wanted to make this game profitable and when they realized that this game was not shooting up the charts as a free-to-play game that had so many different ways of being monetized and spending all your money on different areas and sections of the game through either cosmetics keys quality of life and just just being more free to play the game in whatever way you choose they 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 jumped the ship just because they were greedy doesn't mean that they didn't do anything for the game they added more vault chest they added month of the maga which was used to promote and market the game at the time which was new and well i mean you wouldn't see around the maga anywhere outside of word of mouth they also did a lot of things to make people upset they removed amulets they made pets pay to win and they also added tops to the nexus which were purchasable with real money Why the hell would anyone be upset over that? Pets are awesome. Amis, I don't want to talk about Amis, honestly. They removed the Amulet of Resurrection, which was something you bought with a, a 11,000 fame or a few thousand fame, all right? Don't. Okay, Google. How much did Amulets of Resurrection cost? 11,500 fame. Essentially, what the item did, it acted as a ring that gave you a small percentage of every stat in the game and if you died wearing this particular ring it would bring you back to the nexus so that way you didn't die which was amazing and everyone's favorite item especially since the item was free or, or required by with fame which was 11,500 which at the time was very difficult to get to for the average player the ring got replaced with pets which already existed but they were purely cosmetic kabam decided to give them abilities and decided hey Let's make them pay for these pets so that way they can upgrade their pets like it's freaking Pokemon. People started to call her out Mick Pokemon or Pokemeg or, or just, it was like Pokemon, all right? You, you, you would catch the pet, you would hatch the pet, and then you would upgrade your pet. It was either you upgraded it with fame by feeding it your items the same way it works now, or, you know, you spent money on the game and you bought better food that would give your pet more levels, and, and that's how you did it. And people were kind of okay with it, but at the same time, it became so expensive at the higher levels that so many people were just completely appalled by it and it was just unbelievable to so many people including myself that was insane there was also just smaller things that made it even less accessible for fame only purchases because you couldn't just upgrade your pet and then fuse them and then get it to max level because you had to max your pet out on an individual level which means that you were getting wasted points which means you were inefficiently leveling up your pet which means you had to spend money or you were more incentivized to spend money because you had to spend more money on a very specific tier all right let's just, ugh, let's just walk through this uh, anyway um the first ability of the pet is a lot faster and cheaper to max than the second one and the second one is faster and cheaper to max than the third one uh, this means that you want the ability you hope to max first 
in the first and second slots. Um, Who better to talk about pets than the original from the Mad God, God himself, Kali. Mm. Nostalgia. A small little side note, the pet yard got updated and the quality of life in it is so much better. Getting your pets and feeding your pets and fusing them is just so much easier than what it used to be. But I feel like the smallest thing, the little bar that they replaced it with, I feel like that's just a ploy to get you to spend money on Ambrosia so that way you can see the bar move. But that's just me, alright? I don't know if anyone agrees with that, but that's just it's just the smallest thing and it messes with my head personally. So I just I just wanna say it. Anyways, that's enough on pets. Tops in the Nexus kabam what the f only reason why tops are even a big deal is because kabam said that they wouldn't add it to the game and then what do they do they go and add it to the game right in the nexus in front of everyone's face it, it was a big deal back then because top used to be end game content this is before all of our later dungeons right and i think that's why people more more people were upset about it than what they are now people being upset that brings me to my main point why aren't people upset with deca games deca hasn't done anything to fix anything that the community previously was upset with Kabam for doing. And I guess you could say that it's because the community overall has shifted and all of the older players that used to play the game back when Kabam still played have probably already left and that's fair. It would be a stretch for me to say that Deck has only pursued money since they obtained the rights to the game, but the game is more monetized now than it's ever been and it's bad. Slot machines, like literal slot machines. It's bad. I understand that Deca Games is owned by old Kabam veterans, right? And I also understand that Deca Games is a very small company. But after two years, I feel like they should have been able to shake up their ways. But I guess they're not financially stable enough. But I also don't feel like that's enough of an excuse after looking at private servers. And this is all just my opinion. Now let's look at all the surface level tactics Deca uses to monetize the game. Boom, we talked about pets, we know about pets. They added more pet food, better pet food, bigger pet food. It's nice, it's helpful, but it's more money. And the bigger wall. Skins, they're nice, they're cool, but they're overabundant and then they begin to feel unnecessary. Like if they cut out half the skins and put in the time into like doing anything else game related, like they could have reworked the class, you know, made a dungeon, you know, added a new white bag, you know, made lost halls part two i don't know dude there's just so many skins that's the point i'm trying to make all right it's also kind of bad if you enjoy dyes and cloths right if there's this many skins then like they kind of lose their meaning and their value their aesthetic prowess if you will and this occurs again with the events deck added to the game except there's no aesthetic prowess being taken away but it should have been obvious the events are cool they get people to buy keys and they allowed the community to enjoy a specific dungeon for a certain period of time. But at the same time, it makes the game easier. And it also makes white bags less rare. So when you see someone running around with a leaf bow, it just doesn't look as cool anymore, right? Which is kind of aesthetic prowess, I guess. I don't know. Same thing happened with the live pot prices after that event. It just tanked, like... It hit the gutter, like, you could get a life out for 4 death if you really wanted to. And I guess that's that's why I'm so upset with the deck of games right now, and why I feel like they're so greedy. They're just constantly devaluing everything that I loved about the game. And that's some personal strife I have to deal with, but I'm here to explain to you why they're greedy. So, those are my thoughts. Leave yours down if you want to. Or don't. People don't like this. I seen that. I said bump it though. It's enough for a video. Let's just put it out. Throughout the video, I didn't make it clear enough that I made this video more out of love rather than hatred, despite uh, the entire context of the video as a whole. This video comes from a place of love. Basically, I love Realm of the Mad God, it's been a part of me for a while, and a lot of the things that I do now actually started from this game, I started PC gaming from this game, so seeing the direction that Deca is taking with the game just doesn't feel much better than the direction Kabam took the game, and I felt like I had to express that, and going back and playing it now was actually a ton of fun. Really? <gasps> Yo!
he got a oh pixie. Oh my god. Yo, that one. Are you, you playing with me? There it is, dude. No, he got a pixie. <laughs> there it is, dude. Oh yo, that's what I'm talking about right there, yo. Go ahead. Yo, yeah, you know what really pixie feels pixie bad, guys? I just died. Because I've been in this fucking thing for like two hours. What do you mean? How did I get a pixie, dude? Fuck you, dog. You've been in there for like 40 minutes. Get your cock out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just died. Longer, just... I enjoyed it. I started streaming it again, and I played with my f a few friends, and it was it was a blast, honestly, for the few moments I did play it. I'm not saying that it's a bad game, and again, I'm going to stop playing. I'm probably always going to return to this game just because of how long it's been a part of my life, but I felt like I needed to make that clear, make it clear that I love Rum the Mad God, like, straight up. Anyways, that's it. Okay. Bye. Bye.